Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 14th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Demons Pray. And our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8, where the good tax collector writes, When Jesus arrived on the other side of the lake in the region of the Gadarenes, two men who were possessed by demons met him. They came out of the tombs and were so violent that no one could go through that area. They began screaming at him, Why are you interfering with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torture us before God's appointed time? There happened to be a large herd of pigs feeding in the distance, so the demons begged, If you cast us out, send us into that herd of pigs. All right, go, Jesus commanded them. So the demons came out of the men and entered the pigs, and the whole herd plunged down the steep hillside into the lake and drowned in the water. The herdsmen fled to the nearby town, telling everyone what happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the entire town came out to meet Jesus, but they begged him to go away and leave them alone. There's a question here screaming to be posed to anyone who reads this gospel account. So let's ask the question, which is a better outcome, two men tortured and driven to hell, or two men healed of their madness, the consequences being a herd of pigs sacrificed? So often I've heard the argument turn towards compassion for a herd of pigs, which were being raised for food, by the way, and ignoring the tormented men possessed by demons. The evidence of our sinful nature is seen in the epilogue to Jesus healing the men. The whole town agrees the pigs were more important to them than the healing of the possessed men. By begging Jesus to leave, the entire town takes a stance against the liberating compassion of Christ, choosing instead the company of evil. And thus it has always been. If you take a closer look at the tortured men, the demons reveal everything that drives their decision. Their whole activity has one purpose, to bring misery, pain, and death. All their actions drove the men to violence and disruption. This has been the game plan of Lucifer since being kicked out of heaven for opposing God. Apostle Peter warned the flock about Satan's ways, 1 Peter chapter 5. Stay alert, watch out for your great enemy the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Why is this account in scripture? It holds up a mirror to today's culture. Anger, violence, murder, deceit, all of which turns upside down that which God planned for us, his creation. He designed the fruit of the Spirit as our dwelling place. Galatians chapter 5, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. Ever opposing the good work of God, demons are under orders from hell to destroy our peace and every other work of heaven to take us by the hand and lead us to death's doorstep. For you today, the question of the day always requires choosing whom you will serve. So let's ask it. What if it were your herd? Spiritual warfare is not a choice. The battle is already raging, and in any war, the choice of which side you'll take must be settled long before the battle begins. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.